For over a hundred years, the telephone remained firmly wired to the ground. Tomorrow's world came on and they said, one day, everybody will have their own phone number. And everyone just went, what? The idea eventually is once you'd been allocated a telephone number, you'd keep it as your personal number for the rest of your life and carry your phone with you everywhere. You've got to remember this is a time at home, I, you know, my dad had the key to the phone and they had to ask them to like use the phone and it was all that kind of... And if you got a phone call, it was a big thing. When you've got your Dutch in you and you ring the surgery, she's out, but she's in. When she's out. Dr. Rowe's surgery. They were huge, huge, great, monstrous bricks that people weren't embarrassed to carry. When you've got a leaky home and you're on the dog and bone, he's out. But he's in when he's out. Hello? Can we call Dad, please? You can call for the phone, for the nose, and the phone, they're in when they're out. When you use it, you had to pull the area lock, which came out about this high. So you'd be holding this thing, and the jokes are true. I mean, you could weight lift. You could do your biceps with this thing. And in fact, often when we're out filming, we used to use the mobile phone to either prop the door open or prop the door closed because it was very useful. It was incredibly, incredibly heavy. I was sat in a train carriage with this mobile phone, and the whole carriage is staring at me. And somebody came up to me and said, is that a phone? I said, yes, it's fantastic. I'm talking to my husband. And they went, where is he? I said, Newbury. And they went, but that's 80 miles away. I said, yes, isn't it great? I had a friend with a mobile phone, which was a suitcase. I mean, it was absolutely enormous. Right now, there are dozens of people trying to sell mobile telephones. But there's only one mobile phone that fits neatly into your pocket. It allows you to move from car to car without installation. XL Pocket Phone. I bought something called the XL, and the XL cost the thick end of 2,000 quid, and I couldn't believe what it did. It was so wonderful. The XL Pocket Phone, the smallest, most advanced cellular phone in the world, fits your pocket. Now, of course, we can't do without them, but back in the day, you look ridiculous if you had a mobile phone. If you show film of those brick-like mobile phones, everyone falls apart because it's like a Dom Jolly routine, isn't it? To have had a very large phone is the ultimate embarrassment because obviously now, the weenier your phone, paradoxically, the more powerful you are. If you showed a kid today what the mobile Zen looked like, they'd be like, what are you doing with that madness, man? What are you doing getting in my face with that MOBA? There's no MOBA. What are you seeing, man? This has got video. Can you take films with it? That's what the... You speak into that. Get away, man. Believe. My lad's four. That's how he speaks. <laughs>